Hi, I'm Jenny Jo, mental health counselor at Bristol. The relationship that we have with ourselves is the most enduring, and yet we often treat ourselves with a disdain we would never share with another person. We have an inner critic. Its desire is to motivate us towards decisions that will foster safety and connection. However, it does this with shame. Let's talk about practices to build the antidote to shame, which is radical self-compassion. Step number one, we need to develop an awareness practice. Emotions are great teachers. Can we be with them? Can we listen to them without having to push them away? Step number two, can we pay attention to the tone of that inner critic? A great practice is to have a photo of yourself as a baby or a child when you look into that sweet face. Does that child need listening? Does it need attention? Or does it need harsh criticism? Step number three, we need to be the caretakers of our very being. We need to find practices that soothe our nervous system. Taking a walk outside, music, journaling, spending time with friends, a hug, this is an essential daily practice. No one moves through life without encountering uncertainty or suffering. A beautiful mantra that we can embrace is, this is a moment of suffering. Suffering is a part of life. May I be kind to myself in this moment.